Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to episode 21 of Species Spotlight, where today's spotlight will be on the Atlantic Puffin, a species of seabird that can be found on some coasts around the UK. But just before I tell you all you need to know about this species of puffin, I want to quickly thank you for 700 subscribers. The channel is growing so quickly and I can't thank you enough for the support you give the channel and all of the videos. If this is the first video you've seen of mine, then be sure to check out some of my other videos after this one and subscribe if you like what you see. But for now, let's just get into this video. The Atlantic Puffin is a colourful seabird and is the only puffin native to the Atlantic Ocean. It is a member of the Orc family and they can grow up to around 30 centimetres in length, stand 20 centimetres tall and live for around 20 to 30 years. It can be identified by its black crown and black pale grey cheek patches and white underparts. Its broad red and black beak and orange legs contrast with its plumage. Due to the striking appearance, Atlantic puffins have been given several names including clowns of the sea and sea parrots. In the air, puffins are surprisingly fast flyers. By flapping their wings up to 400 times per minute, they can reach speeds of around 50 miles an hour. They are also excellent swimmers that use their wings to stroke underwater with a flying motion. They can dive to depths of 200 feet, though they usually stay underwater for only 20 to 30 seconds. The puffin's diet consists almost entirely of fish, though examination of its stomach contents show that it occasionally eats shrimp, other crustaceans, mollusks and polychaete worms, especially in more coastal waters. Atlantic puffins land on North Atlantic sea coasts and islands to form breeding colonies each spring and summer. The birds often select rocky cliff tops to build their nests, which they line with feathers or grass. Females will lay a single egg and both parents take turns incubating it. When a chick hatches, its parents take turns feeding it by carrying small fish back to the nest in their relatively spacious bills. Puffing couples often reunite at the same burrow site each year. This species can be found on many stretches of coastline around the UK, including a few nature reserves such as Skoma Island, which is where all the footage in this video was filmed. Islands like Skoma are incredibly important for conserving puffin populations, as they are currently listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. So, that's all you need to know about the Atlantic Puffin. I do hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.